Hello YouTube, this is Forzo TV and this is a video tutorial on how to make your own Minecraft hub server. So I'll have a video link in the description on how to set a bucket server up. So this is taking it to the next step, making this a hub server. Okay, so the first thing you'll want is that you'll want a, a decent amount of RAM on your server for this to work. And you're going to want a few plugins. So you're going to need Multiverse. I'll have all the links to these plugins in the description. So you'll need Multiverse, World Edit, you'll need Multiverse Inventories, and you'll need Permissions EX or your permission program. I'll be using PEX for this video tutorial. So you want to go into your web browser, which you use your account. Your I use Multicraft, so I'll be using that. And if you're not, then just go into your settings for your server. So I'm using MC Pro Hosting. So after you've logged in, you're going to use go to FTP file access. And you're gonna want to log in. You're gonna make sure that your server is also up. And then you're going to want to navigate to plugins and make sure you have all and make sure you have a world somewhere there so that you can load in with multiverse and as you can see I have multiverse core and the multiverse portal so those are two mandatory plugins and and I'm using notice just because it makes it easier sometimes when Okay, so once you're in your server, I'll just show you a demonstration of what multi like a hub server kind of looks like. So this is like the nether survival, we're gonna show you how to make a portal there. And uh, and this is a faction world. So what this does, this multiverse plugin, is it allows you to teleport to other worlds. So this is a cheaper and affordable way instead of buying servers which cost hundreds and hundreds so okay now well, that takes us back to spawn so now we're gonna get started so once you have your world in your FTP inside your server what you want to gonna do is type slash MVP import world name so world name and then normal so once you type that in, it should start the import on world. The server might lag a little bit, and then they'll say import complete. And then you can teleport to it. So, for example, we're gonna go to the, we're gonna set this up in the end world. So we're gonna do slash mv list, and it'll bring you a list of your worlds. So to teleport to that world, you're gonna type slash mv tp world, and then the name of the world or whatever you called it, and it should take you there. So, so this is a spawn place. So you do slash mv spawn. You spawn right here, teleporting to the real spawn. So we're we're just gonna send up set up like a temporary little spawn here. And I encourage world edit. It will just make everything go a lot faster. Okay, so after that, I'm just gonna build a little. I'm just gonna claim this area as a safe zone. And you're also gonna want to build like a little portal or something so that people can go back to the main world. Okay. So this portal can be made out of almost anything. And you can put something inside this such as water. 
So you can use world edit and set it as water. Thing is, mine spills, uh, so I'll, I'm just gonna leave it as like an empty frame. Okay, so after you get your basic portal shape, we're on eight types. Uh, you wanna go? We're gonna go back to the main server spawn. And as you can see, my inventories are the same because I've not installed multiverse inventories. So I have noticed, so I'm just gonna go to water walking, and I have noticed because it just makes some things easier for me. I have no cheat in anything, but it just makes it easier when I want to select water and stuff. So I already have this portal here set up. So I, with world in it, I, I click the top corner and select that as my first position, and the bottom of my corner and second is my second position. And then you're going to type the command slash mvp create, and then the name of your portal. I'm going to type it um, n hub created and selected. Okay, so then I'm going to do slash mv less so then I can go back to the creative I mean the, sorry, the end map and then once I'm here I'm going to create another portal I'm just going to select it again and spawn, I'm just going to change the name of it so now I can remove this and then what you're going to want to type is slash mvp select end hub or the name of the first portal that you created and then um sorry yeah the caps and everything has to be exact and then you want to type this command to link it to this portal so slash mvp modify desk and then end spawn so now this portal is linked, end hub is linked to end spawn, and we want to do vice versa. So, so now we're going to do such MVP select end spawn. And now that has been selected. And then we want to modify the destination of this to end hub. So now this portal will, should go to the hub, just like that. And now that will take you to the main hub of your server and if you go back turn off our walk go back now you should be in the end of where you made your portal so that's how to set up the kind of hub world to world and now if you want to get plugins based just for that world and plugins that work only in certain worlds and permissions that players can do in certain worlds I will show you how to do that now so I already have this command typed, it'll also be in the description. So we want to type this this command right here. It, you don't you can be in any world that you're in. So slash pex group. So uh, my default group is a member. Add and you add a permission node. So say you're using battle kits or kit PvP. So say we're using the plugin simple kits. So this wanted to be, say you wanted this to be like a kit PvP world or server, so then you do slash pex group member, so the name of the group and um, member add, and then you add their permission node, so it'd be like skits dot use, and then space the world name, so then we would make this n PvP, and then that permission node will be for that group in this world, so that's how you can set up world by world permissions and after you've set up that then you want to edit the inheritance which I will show you now so that it'll carry on to every other rank in your server so after you're in your your file settings you want to go to permissions access or your permissions manager and then you're going to go to permissions.yml and as you can see here the group is called members and see worlds hub and kit pvp so those are some worlds that already have their world by world permissions set up so skits.pvp so so these permissions will only work in the kit pvp world it will work nowhere else and just at, to an, edit the inheritance um, you want to go down to another rank and then under its inheritance just make it the member for every rank so 
add member to every rank or your default class that every player starts off in. And then after you've done that, slash pex reload and all the permissions should be reloaded and your hub server is ready to go. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, subscribe for more Minecraft tutorials.